a little while I shared a tutorial with you on how to save Canva elements to your brand kit and it involved downloading your Canva elements and popping them into your brand kit. Don't follow that tutorial. Do this instead. Firstly, it's easier. Secondly, it means that the creator of that element gets credit. So it's really a win-win. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can take an element from inside Canva, save it to your Canva brand kit so that you can access it really quickly and easily anytime you're wanting to create a graphic. So let's dive in. So hi, if we have not met before, my name is Jackie and pretty much I am obsessed with helping business owners use programs like Canva strategically so that they can grow their businesses and enjoy creating in the process because design is such a powerful tool for every small business and I want to make sure you know how to use it. What I want you to do is open up a Canva design. It could be any Canva design, ideally one that you've been experimenting potentially with your branding elements. As an aside, I really believe in branding elements. Branding elements are amazing. If you don't know what a branding element is, it's pretty much a graphic that you're using consistently and regularly in your business. So you might have heard of having brand colors or having brand fonts. Branding elements are another tool that you can use to make your graphics look amazing, look consistent and connect with your audience. It's something that I teach a lot in my programs like DIY to Summer Biz where I teach my students how to create their own brand and graphics using programs just like Canva. Yes, you can use Canva's elements in your brand. That is totally okay, especially if it's not your logo. I do have some caveats around using it in your logo. That's not the discussion of today. I've tackled that in another video, but let's dive into now adding Canva elements into your brand kit. So firstly, open up the design. It's got some Canva elements in it that you might like or open up the side panel. So inside Canva's side panel here, you have the elements tab and in here you can find a whole lot of elements, graphics you can use in your designs. So in here, I've got a cloud. I don't actually use this one anymore, but it was something that I was using really regularly. And if I wanted to add this to my Canva brand kit, this is how I would do it. Firstly, you need to find this element in your side panel. If you can't see it here, try searching for it like cloud and sometimes it might pop up. If it's not popping up for you there, what you can actually do is right click on the element if you've got it inside your design, press the info tab right at the bottom here. And what you'll need to do is add this to a folder. You can see this add to folder button or there's also other great options like see more like this or view collection or even finding the name here. You could search this name inside the Canva element search tab. You could press see more like this and probably find it in that, in that as well. But firstly, we need to add it to a folder. So just click on this little arrow here and you can press add to folder. So you can either add it to an existing folder or you might need to make a new one. Now, unfortunately you can't make a new folder in this section. So we're going to have to do that elsewhere. If you haven't already got a folder set up, I do recommend creating your own unique folder for this because that folder is then what we're going to link into your brand kit. So if you don't have a folder yet, what you want to do is go over to this side panel here and press projects. This is your folders, folders, projects, one in the same interchangeable inside Canva here. So I'm going to press projects and you can see this create folder option here. If I press create folder, I can now name a folder. So I'm going to write this and call it brand elements. You can name it whatever you like, something that makes sense, something you're going to be able to find again, something that you're not going to need to make more of. And I'm going to hit continue. And you can see this folder in here now. So now I can right click on that object, press info, press add to folder and select that brand elements folder. If you can't find your folder, you can also search for it and you better see it right here. So if I click on brand elements and I can choose add to folder, that's now added to that folder. If I wanted to add in some more elements, say I wanted to search something different, maybe I wanted to use a carrot, say you wanted to add carrots into your branding or no, let's do something more realistic, maybe a purple pattern. I can go to graphics here, view some more here and potentially I'm going to start getting into this wavy pattern. I can then click on these three dots, hover over this pattern and you can see my add to folder option is here again. So I'm going to press add to folder, select my brand elements folder, press add to folder and that element is now in my brand folder. So I will do this over and over again, adding any element I wanted to into my brand folder. I'm even doing it with this picture of myself here. So I can have everything accessible to me. So once you've added all of your branding elements to a folder, you then want to head to your brand kit. You can also keep adding to this. So you don't have to have it once and done. You can continue adding as you go. But once you're ready to, and you've got a few items in there, you can go to your brand kit. So I'm going to access that from the side panel here when it says brand. And if I scroll down a little bit, you're going to see this graphics. If I click on graphics, this is where I can link in a folder. So I press see all here it's going to open up different graphics. So you can either choose to upload images into here. So if I press edit, I can now 
press this plus button and I could upload graphics. This is really great if you have had your own icons or elements created by a graphic designer or yourself and you wanted to add those in. But if you are using Canva elements, it's really important that we don't download those and then add them into this folder like I've previously taught, but actually that we link a folder. The reason that is, is because designers who create graphics that we can use inside Canva get a tiny, tiny, tiny cut from Canva every time their graphic is used. And if we export that graphic and then re-upload it back in, they are then no longer being attributed to that graphic. So you could use it for a thousand social media posts and they would never get attributed and get any credit for it. If you instead add your elements to a folder and then link that folder to your brand kit, every time you use that element ongoing, that Canva creator still gets credit for the graphic that they've created, which I think is a whole lot fairer and more beautiful. So to do this, what we need to do is you can see I've got a linked folder option here. So if you wanna link a folder, Again, you hit this plus button and you can press link folder. So here is where I'm gonna link that folder that we've just created with those brand elements so they are always accessible for me. So I'm gonna hit link folder, click on this brand elements and press link folder. It lets me know that I wanna save this to my brand kit so anyone with access to my brand kit can then access that. Sure, I'm gonna press share. And you can see now that folder is now linked. So if I was to now press that purple save button at the very bottom, press save changes. It then means anytime I'm inside Canva and say I want to create a new design here, I can open up my Canva brand kit, toggle down to graphics, press see all, select my Canva brand elements and I can now play with these very easily. So I might insert my background, might then insert this picture of me that I downloaded, this little beautiful cloud and everything's just there straight away. You also have the option too, if you've got like 50 or 100 graphics in here, if there's a few that you're wanting to use really regularly, you can actually click on those three dots and press pin to folder. It's gonna pin it to the top. So that's really helpful if you've got go-to graphics that you wanna make sure that you're easily able to reference. And that's how you do it. And if you are struggling with finding graphics or brand elements for yourself, make sure you hit up my free design masterclass called Design Tools to 100K so that you can build your skills in creating really robust, beautiful graphics. And if you'd like to, you can even join my course, DM I wired my biz and in there I teach you exactly how to choose your own brand elements as long as your brand colors your brand fonts how to create your own logo how to make incredible graphics all of the above including support from me and my team the links for all of those things will be in the description below and I hope to see you there in the meantime make sure you hit subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my future tutorials and hit like if you enjoyed this video thanks for being here and I'll see you next week bye